Welcome to Chapter 8 of Manic Autistic Superhero. Counting Conspiracies. The next day. Listen, you did great. I just don't understand your grudge against the Electronic Angel. He is vile. You didn't have to throw a car. Oh, come on, Chow. If some guy who called himself an angel implied your life was wrong, how would you react? OMG, these conspiracy theories. Is the moon a vehicle? I don't know. That's why they are theories. Wait, the moon? Hadn't heard that one. Oh, dang. Were there secret moon missions? Talek, why are they here? Bleep it. Stop calling me Talek. You and Eli need to accept that I'm not Talek. Your immortal pal was reborn as someone else. Wait. Reincarnation is real? Says who? Says these former gods. Besides, all you've been learning, why is that bad? Because it means no heaven. Get off the counter. Ugh, heaven is a flawed concept. What? You can't just have joy all the time. Without pain, you have no way to understand what joy is. Same goes for hell. If you're always in pain, you have no concept of what is not pain. Oh, bleep! This is the worst day ever. Well, bright side, now that you've had a day this bad, you're free to have one just as emotional in the opposite direction. Why are you still on the counter? Sigh. Manic, can't you just tell me what the conspiracy theory is, right? Oh, I forgot it was so obvious even I knew it. I mean, really. Just use common sense. Common sense says they're all fake. Exactly. What? Okay, first, let's look at something similar that's more easily deciphered. Racial stereotypes, as such as smart Asian, punk blacks, robber, Mexicans, the list is endless. We're taught not to listen to stereotypes, just as with conspiracies. But some, but in a sense, sometimes they come true. Think on it. Asian doctors, black rappers, and rock stars, the amount of illegal immigrants. So... Since all the stereotypes hit a truth in some way, how could conspiracy theories hold together? Which one is the most common? Uh, the moon. Illuminati. Uh, triangle. No, Bermuda Triangle! Ah, uh, well, they're all idiots. Multiverse. Multiverse is so widely accepted in media, and it is in media that its application is the most erratic. The tiniest indecision in media can spark an entirely new universe. Wait, what does media have to do with multiverse? Well, not like the news. The media of art, TV, and performances. The choice of an artist to do one thing over another. Look at any mascot, sales cartoon, or spokesperson. Any clothing, logo, any stamp of authority. These things are the way they are due to the choices of ordinary people. If... If those people are even a little indecisive, a new universe could arise. But what event, long ago, could be a factor in the multiverse today? What are you getting at? Aliens are from space, not Earth's past. No! Let me just spell it out then. A multiverse reality where the dinosaurs never went extinct. Humans as apes would never exist. And rep a reptilian Earth evolves over several millions of years. That's millions of years more, uh, to advance and discover dimensional travel. Reptiles? I don't have scales. Yeah, and the average fum human doesn't have fur. Remember evolution. So, you know a lot about this. Not really. Everything I've said is just drawing conclusions after, off common sense. So what do we do now? Manic! You need to backtrack. You were raised to believe you're human, but you're not. So who raised you? Oh, um, I was in foster care going home to home until I was emancipated at age 15. Now I'm 17 and I live alone. So, like, no help there. Really? Who runs the foster care program? Uh, come on. Who took you from home to home? Give me an organization name and I'll look it up. Talek? Manic! Talek, don't you think we have more important things to be doing, such as? Such as fighting crime. You're a hero, not a paranormal investigator. Oh, come on. The public should know about aliens. Come on, Talek. You know why we can't. 
I am not Talic. And think, if I was, why would I be so insistent that I wasn't? Is that how your pal would act? But if you're not Talic, why would you let us endorse you? Uh, are you kidding? Who wouldn't? But I've been nothing but upfront about how not Talic I am. This was a mistake. You're fired. <laughs> why? You're not Talic. So? You're not one of us. We can't... You're useless to our work. Do you hear yourself? Your shareholders won't buy that. Don't try to intimidate me. I can control those sheep. I'm intimidating you. You're the one claiming to control the world. We do control the world. You should be careful what you say. You never know who's listening. I say that to you. You don't... Boo, do, 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 do. Uh, your phone is ringing. It's the Queen's theme? Liz, I can't talk right. For God's sake, stop talking. Someone hacked your surveillance system. Everyone can hear you. Stock is plummeting. Surveillance? Hacked? Stock? Earlier that day. Uh, coffee is gross. Why did you order it then? Uh, quartz? Who told you? Ha! No, it's me, the Shadow Samurai. This is the first time we've met in person, huh? Eee! Shadow Sammy! How, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, part-time job helping mom. Oh, fun! Your mom works at this office? Nah, she owns it. Your mom is Chow? Why didn't you tell me? I just did, sorta. Listen, I like to keep it on the down low. Between you and me, she's not a big fan of mortals. If this is between us, we must be stealthy. Follow. Uh, huh? Whoa! You have your own room already? Shh. Okay, that's the plush pit. And this is the running carpet. And there's where Ice and Thunder live in harmony. And these... Oh, jeez. Are the five new surveillance cameras Chal installed while I was gone. And this is how we smash them! <laughs> If you're still on board, please allow me to explain. Uh, yeah. Okay, so when I first got here, I thought it was unusual, the amount of security cameras. Oh, is it more than average? Yeah, but then it, there were no cameras at all at Super Dude's place. Wait, really? So, of course, when she offered me a room, I asked for no cameras, of course. But when I got here, and the cameras, so I disabled them naturally. Naturally. But she just puts up more every time I leave. I think something is up. Okay, you have given me a fabulous idea. But first, you're not- you're right. She- she's not sure you're an immortal like her and Eli. She keeps calling me Talic. I think we can use this to turn the tables on her. Since, as you may have guessed, this place is really corrupted. You did this? No. It was Sam's idea. You treat them poorly. Ah! Come on, Chow. Things have to change. The first thing is providing psychological help to villains instead of just locking them up. You don't understand. I can't. Why? Why is this so hard? I need Talik. He's gone. Please stop the cameras. I don't think that's in my best interest. Sam has told me some of the things you've done. The plan Sam had come up with was brilliant. Sigh. There will be consequences, but for now, Cal had maintained an elitist control on the regulations of superheroes. I hereby relinquish control of my company to my daughter. But now we had a chance to change things for the better. OMG Shadow, how'd we get here? It's a dream, Quartz. Okay, I'm going to tell you now I probably won't remember. You'll remember if you focus. Look, I have a list of points. Quartz? OMG Shadow, there's a block-style world in this square topiary. Quartz, do you think if we change the topiary? Quartz, it's just a lure. Tell me about dream lures. Again? A lo dream lure is a misdirection. A change or plot device and leads to nothing but more random. I figured out how to change form. Arg! What if I tell you my list like a story? 
Story A. This is the story of two privileged high-class sisters. And how they died? No. It is also about two average brothers. The two pairs would marry each other. A love story. No. Each pair had one child, and then a third was born by the oldest sister and her brother-in-law. <gasps> Gasp! A story of betrayal! No. Her husband, outraged, killed the third child in anger. Gasp! Murder! No. As it was, the sisters had a third sister, even richer than they. So richer, she brought the child back. <gasps> Cloning! No. Wait, is this a real story or a myth? Eh, a bit of both. As a price, the third sister cursed all of mankind. She could do that? From then on, humanity possessed both flaws and advantages. Advantages? Oh, like superpowers. Hidden in the basic code of humanity were traits like depression and anxiety. What? Whoosh, whoosh. The bleep? Are you bleeping me? Is this true? I thought you were under control. Oh, you'll never control you. All right, ladies. Neither of us. I got a story to tell you. Don't be a song. Please don't be a song. That's a great idea. Story song. Which is nails and beaver tails. Crochet dolls. And the government falls. Where? Is the radio in my head, listening in to every word I've said, channeling products and undermining what law does. Cut, chop, chop you up, bing, bop, boil you to your pop. Help! Who is selling me these horrible thoughts? My brain email? Spam, it gets lots. Where does my brain go? What are these ideas I know? Quartz. Quartz is a nightmare. Snap out of it. Did I dream it? Quartz, did I dream it? Wait. Eee? Ah! Why? <sighs> like, I, I don't know. It, it happened last time. <laughs> At the same time that night... Oh, Liz, why did I trust a mortal? <laughs> Sob. <laughs> Honestly, do you hear yourself? I believe in your pursuit of preser preserving our ancient memories. You've forgotten who you are. <laughs> no! Chal, you've lived so many lives and changed over time. You've grown dependent on Talek, yet his ideas and motives are counter to yours. Is it possible that one of them is Talek? They just don't want you in their life anymore. Honestly, Chow, I think you should stop trying to find Talek and start trying to find yourself. Talek? No. He cannot be allowed to get out of the pact we made. Nor can you. Uh, me? Is that why you call me? Hun, you, that pact you made promised all our work without asking. Did you really expect us to comply? And besides, things are fine as they are, and... It's not a choice. If we don't act, the world will be worse off. This world is not ours. It belongs to her. Tell that to its people. Static buzz. Arg. Things picked up after that day. My ideas were being heard and started happening. Mira reached out to all the members of the chat who called him an alien. World sped like crazy hadn't been affected by the electronic angel. Sam had seen Chow's conversation on the surveillance that I hacked. The, they would only tell me that Chow was so desperate she was praying for help, which raises a good question. When gods pray, who listens?